What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you another squad builder. This one's going to be a 3.5 million squad builder. If you are new, I do a wide range of squad builders. If you've got any suggestions in the comments, budget is probably anything up to 4 to 5 million. I literally 10k, it doesn't really matter. Like, literally any end of the spectrum, I do cheap, I do expensive, whatever. But anyway, let's get into this. So, David De Gea is going to be our goalkeeper, 90 rated, very, very solid. As always, I'll go through the team in the highlights, though. This has four legends, by the way, so uh, the first one is going to be Gary Neville. Of course, he was one of the first batches of legends, I think. Then the two centre-backs, we've got another legend, Rio Ferdinand, new for this year, and Sergio Ramos partnering there. And then left back, you could go with uh, Jordi Alba if later down the line you've got enough coins to build this. But uh, I've went with Marcelo there. I think he's fairly solid, even though he doesn't have a great amount of pace. Two CDMs, we've got Paul Pogba, the inform who I've... Well, he's my most capped player in this uh, team. I think I've played 125 games or something with him. I'll show you in a sec. Uh, Rijkaard partners him, obviously one of the first legends as well. 705k I bought Pogba before. He goes for about 900 now and I've played 121 games. Him and Eric Bailly are my most capped players in this team. Uh, not in this team, but in my club. Then we've got Henrik Mkhitaryan as a right mid. And uh, as a cam, we're going to go with our fourth and final legend, Paul Scholes, my favourite Manchester United legend in real life. Very happy that he got a card on FIFA. It's a shame his stats don't really live up to how he was in real life. But um, I'll let you know what I think about the card in uh, the highlights, of course. Left mid, we go with Marco Royce. First time I've used him as well. Um, yeah, ignore the stats I get with these players because... I don't know, there's some games where I just barely score, but uh, yeah, honestly, I'm struggling to finish chances, but uh, there's some games where I just score a mountain of goals. And to finish this off, we've got Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang up front, 250k roughly, I think he's rose slightly, so as I say, this squad at the time of making it is about 3.5 million, later down the line on FIFA, it'll probably decrease to... 2 mil, I would say. I can't really see it going for too much less than that purely because of the legends that you've got in there. But uh, it, it might it might go cheaper than that. But for now, it's 3.5 million. And let's move on to the highlights. This team just blew me away, to be fair, by how good it actually plays. I like this formation, 4-2-3-1, brackets 2. Of course, there were some games which I did lose, and that just happens on FIFA. No matter how good your team is, you are going to lose games unless you're a professional player, which I am not. So I did lose, I think, three games, but I did win, I think I played... About 20 games with this team and I won the rest. I don't even think I drew. But yeah, Paul Scholes, even though his stats don't do him justice in real life, he just is incredible. The only slight issue I have with Scholes' card, his passing is iffy. Like, I know it says 89 on the card, but it, it feels as though it's not good enough. And considering that is what he was known for in real life, it's a bit disappointing. But his shooting and uh, his agility is just... Phenomenal. He really, really is great. Obviously, he's a centre mid, so I've converted him down to a cam, and he works. He's literally the focal point for most attacks in this. He's actually a good header of the ball as well. Like You'll see with that highlight, I don't understand how, but he scored like three or four headers for me, but that was probably the best one. Like The, the power he got and the jump, considering he's 5'7", is crazy. Um, Ferdinand, another legend which I was very, very happy with, and his stats do do him justice in uh, his prime. He's very, very good. Partnering him with Ramos, I mean, I'm a shit defender, so I'm, I'm not going to deny that. So no matter who I've got, I always make mistakes, but they are very, very good players. I did originally have Kalo Navas in goal, but I changed him to David De Gea because he was making some silly mistakes. Uh, he did make some good saves, but I just wanted a, a bit of a better goalkeeper, so I went with David De Gea. Gary Neville, I've used him on other FIFAs. Um, not as solid as I remember. There were, there were a few, you know, errors, but he, he was he was decent and he got forward, linked up with Mkhitaryan quite well. Marcelo, I wasn't expecting a lot. I know a lot of people don't like Marcelo on this game that I've heard from, but, you know, I did. I thought he was fairly solid. Like, that pace um, doesn't really affect his card too much because he is quite strong. Right card and Pogba, are, oh my God. As CDMs, they are just ridiculous. They win every single header almost and yeah they're just strong they're powerful they make darting runs into the box but what's great is one of them seems to know the other one's going forward so the other one sits back and it really works don't know how they just 
do. Maybe it's the new attacking intelligence system on this game. Mikatarin and Royce, although they didn't get involved with the goals too much, they were involved in the play. Schools and Aubameyang were literally the focal points of this entire team. And Rijkaard and Pogba. This game's played a lot more centrally. I don't know why, but wingers... I, I don't use them too much, so no matter who I've got, I, I just they just don't get involved. So, uh, yeah, they, they were good, but they didn't really contribute with goals or assists too much. But that didn't matter because the forward four, well, I say forward four, but two of them are CDMs. They were involved a lot more. And Aubameyang up front, oh my god. One of the best strikers I've had the pleasure to use on this game. You would expect that with his 96 pace, 84 shooting, but he's six foot one as well. Like he's just so hard to bully off the ball. He he makes ridiculous runs. Like his acceleration is second to none. And literally having someone like Scholes behind him just works because they they seem to be on the same wavelength. Wavelength. And I did win. A lot of games quite considerably although of course there were very close games which I think you'll be able to see like two ones but I think I won like four five six nil a fair few times so yeah I did enjoy this team obviously you would kind of expect that for 3.5 million coins spent hopefully you have enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already liked the video and yeah peace